even if they run Michelle. According to a new poll, Michelle Obama isn't as strong a Democratic candidate against former President Donald Trump as many Dems would have you believe. In a hypothetical matchup, my favorite kind. Trump wins with 47% of the vote compared to Michelle Obama's 44. I guess some of the kids whose school lunches she ruined are finally old enough to vote. Remember that? And what have we here? Is it independent candidate RFK Jr. making the argument that President Biden is the much worse threat to democracy? I can make the argument that President Biden is a much worse threat to democracy. And the reason for that is President Biden is the first candidate in history, the first president in history that has used the federal agencies to censor political speech, so to censor his opponent. Mm, I... Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, <laughs> Democrats are also luring up to keep RFK off the ballot in multiple states. Just like when I hot tub with Larry Kudlow, Biden, <laughs> Biden doesn't want a third man. It was a political statement. Sweet. Meantime, veteran Democratic strategist James Carville is sounding the alarm on the tried and true Dem base that's leaving Joe and the party. And Carville's been very vocal about this. You know, I've been very vocal about this. Uh, it's, it's horrifying our numbers among younger voters, particularly you know, uh, black, younger blacks, younger Latinos, or younger people of color, particularly males. We're not shedding them. They're, they're leaving in the droves. Okay. <laughs> blacks. Yeah. You gotta watch those blacks. But it's true. Young men are leaving the Dems faster than a sports bar that puts on the WNBA. <laughs> Finally, Biden said he absolutely he had absolutely nothing to do whatsoever with his own White House proclaiming Easter transgender day of visibility. Rule it. Speaker Johnson said you betrayed the tenet of Easter by proclaiming Sunday, Easter Sunday, as Transgender Day. He called that outrageous and abhorrent. What do you say to Speaker Johnson? He's thoroughly uninformed. Uninformed how? I didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, you did, Mr. Prez. Forget about the trans part. This is a guy who will sign or do anything he's told because he's just happy he gets to wear diapers with the presidential seal. <laughs> What's Joe got to say? No, 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 no. I, my staff isn't in charge. I'm the one making the decisions. Trans Day of Visibility, that was my idea. I've been involved in trans issues since the very beginning. Uh, Delaware Transit, uh, Amtrak Transit. They used to call me Amtrak Joe. Hey, he gave me my own key. Did I ever tell you that? Some days I'd pull the train into the yard by myself. I pull in backwards, caboose first. And uh, Mr. Topham had to be there waving to me. Oh, it's old Joe pulling in backwards again. Joe, give me the whistle. Woo, woo. <laughs> Heather, were you surprised that Michelle Obama is not polling better? Because I assumed she would just explode. No, I mean, well, I, I would expect her to do better than Biden. I mean, yeah. especially she's of a younger age, I think, greater mental capacity. And the way the border is going, I don't think you can get much worse. However, it is surprising that even among independents and as well as Democrats overall, not any better. Um, in 2008, when uh, Barack Obama was campaigning, he said he wanted to close the, not close the border uh, outright. He said he's in favor of legal migration, but he, we want to know who these people are and where they're coming from. I want that Obama back, not Barack Obama or Michelle Obama, but that type of Democrat back in the office, in the White House. Where are those Democrats? They don't exist. And that's why the key issue among voters, regardless of what side you're on politically, is the border right now. So unless she's going to take a tough stance on the border, her poll numbers would not get any better. I don't think she's going to run, though. No, I don't think she can. I think you said this before, Tyra. She can't run because if she were to lose to Trump, it would be the most humiliating, like, loss in history. Well, not just, I don't know if I, I think I said that and you added that, but we'll, we'll take <laughs> <laughs> said, you Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Listen, listen, Republicans, she just kicked our ass. She's up 15 points. I, I noticed this this weekend. I'm just going to speak on it. We can't play with a lead. 
Every time Republicans, we get a lead, we do something stupid, okay? <laughs> so when the polls say you're up five, you go, we're down 10. Exactly. Because when we're chasing it, we're focused, we stay on par. So we get a lead, all of a sudden, we're all rabbits taking a nap watching Slow Joe the Turtle. How do you catch us? Yeah. How do you catch us? Who did what in the Supreme Court? We were winning. <laughs> so when I hear those polls, Michelle, this, she's not running, doesn't matter. We got to say eyes on the prize and just chill out. If I could just roll on that black <laughs> one more time. I, nothing bothers me more than me called a black. Mm -hmm. I cannot stand that. And I was at a party that I was forced to go to last weekend where a man came up to me and he's like, Tyrone from Gutfeld. I'm like, close. <laughs> <laughs> and he came over and he had a few drinks. He's an older guy, had a few drinks. And he leaned in and was like, can I talk to you for a minute? And I was like, well, you are. What are we, <laughs> what are we gonna do about how these blacks vote? And I went, I don't know, what should we do? <laughs> And he was like, they, they vote for the Democratic Party, and they know Democrats had slaves. But how can they vote like that? I, said, I don't know. They're tricksters. You can never trust them. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're married to a white woman, showing up at parties, making little <laughs> babies. You can't quite tell what they are. It's crazy. You got to watch these blacks. Mm. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> he walked away. His wife came over, whispered something in his ear, and for the rest of the night, he was trying to talk to me. I was like, nope, we're good, bro. We're good. I cannot stand the blacks thing. It's the... It's that polite racism. Yeah. Kat, what would you like to discuss? RFK? Yeah. I, yeah. I watched that interview, and I, and I loved it, and I thought it was fascinating. I always think it is really fascinating to watch an independent be on TV. I mean, I'm an independent myself, so maybe I'm biased, but he presented a objectively well-reasoned argument, which is to say he had reasons for why he thought what he thought, mm -hmm. and then she comes back and she says, Okay, well, but Trump questioned the election results. Is that not a threat to democracy? And normally I think the interview would, if it was a, with a Republican, they go back and forth, yes, it was, no, it wasn't, yes, it was, no, it wasn't. But with him, he said, I think it was, and I'm talking about this now, right? Yeah. And, and she, she wasn't able to actually address his point about Biden. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was like a malfunctioning machine, really, right. because she, she was like, no, he was like, no, I, I'm also against that, but I'm talking about this and, and the First Amendment. It's the First Amendment for a reason and all these arguments. And, and I think that that's why I, I think it's great to have more candidates in the race. I think it's, 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 it's a lot more substantive to watch sometimes mm -hmm. on TV. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Michael? Will you be voting in the election? You need to get a, an address. It's going to be tough. <laughs> yeah. As a, as a homeless lesbian, I'm just living from box yeah. to box yeah. to box. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, if you don't need an ID. <laughs> Thank you, Tyrus. <laughs> Last word to you. I'm just glad to see James Carvel. Yeah. Like, that guy's just so entertaining. I just. I just want to record him every day. Every time he talks on TV, it's like Cool Hand Luke, the stage play. <laughs> They're leaving in droves. We got us a problem here with communication. <laughs> like, his everyday life must be so interesting. Honey, I'm home. I'm going to give you a back rub. <laughs> it's like, he's like a hillbilly version of Voldemort. <laughs> die, ha, Harry Potter, die. <laughs> Well, that was titillating. <laughs> All right, let's move on, shall we? Up next, he hung his head in shame for calling women names. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.